Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I know I look completely different. Um, this is today's look. I decided to do something I hadn't done before, um, and then it just turned out pink, so I was like, might as well just add a little extra to it. Why not? I mean, we're already here. So, if you want to see how I created this look, um, stay tuned, and you will also get to see my son, who will not stop talking in the background. But, yeah. Just stay tuned in and you'll see how all this happened. So now that I look like an absolute crazy person, um, my brows are done and I can feel all of that and it's washing me out. I got this, um, it's called Collab and it's called uh, Meet Your Matte Velvet Foundation. I got this from um, Sally's before I moved here to Washington and it's actually really good. I have two because I honest to God don't know which one is my shade. And this is one I haven't opened and it's slightly lighter than this one, but I'm pretty sure this one's for me. <clears throat> so I'm going to put some on and this is be my foundation. I just didn't want to use my uh, Too Faced again because I've been using it a lot for videos. So I'm going to use a different one. I have a few, but none as good as that one and I actually did this one before I filmed and this one was nice I think if I remember right it was a long time ago so I'm gonna um, use this and I really hope that it's my shade and yeah I'm not really worried but I'm kind of spooked because um, a lot of times when I do foundation, sometimes they'll end up being too red on me. So, wherever my brush is, I literally just had. Oh. So, yeah, I'm gonna hope for the best. Well, first, work. I'm gonna need a little more. I have no idea how scared I am of how this is going to be. Because sometimes really I'll buy stuff and it's like, did I even check to see what shade it was? And I'm not used to buying foundations from Sally. And I think, I can't remember what I was doing, but I know I needed some for something and I couldn't get to all my makeup that I already had at home. Oh, I had already packed up to leave. And I think I was going out and I packed away all my stuff and I just really wanted some foundation to wear out. Yeah, now I'm going to take maple. I was going to take my, um, Tarte Shape Tape, but that is more my my actual like no makeup skin tone like blends right in. And since this one's not, this foundation isn't a great match for my foundation uh, for my natural skin tone. I don't want to mix it with something that's supposed to be my skin tone, you yeah. know. So, oh yes. I, I put concealer in. Sometimes, not all the time, but today I am. Because <clears throat> it's making me so dark, so it's making my darker spots, like dark spots darker, if that makes any sense. Whatever. But I turned my light pretty much off and just gonna see how yellow that is. I mean, does it look bad no because it actually I can make it work like this is it dry down it has dried let's turn my light back up so it's dried down and it it's closer to matching closer to matching my neck than my chest 
which is fine because I have a hoodie on right now. But when I change my shirt, which I'm gonna do, it's it's ridiculous. So here we are. Um, I I told you guys he was getting up. We're gonna apparently watch me as I finish this video. You gonna say hi? Say hi. He literally just got up. He's like, you gonna say hi? No. Okay. Watch your show. But I'm just gonna wipe this off, and now we're gonna be, I'm gonna be super quick about finishing this because I don't like him being on here, it's weird. Um, I forgot to contour my nose, so I'm gonna go in with, oh, two brushes. The same contour palette and just, just a little bit. Give it a nice shadow. And then it won't look as harsh when I go with my finishing powder in and finish all this up. But I'm not like trying to like really contour my life away or anything like that. Like my nose is gonna be what it is. At this point, I just do it out of habit. <clears throat> but I notice when I don't do it. So now that that's all. There we go. Is that nice? No, no, no. Touch a brush and I'll never see it again. So, now that all that powder's on, I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and just spray my face a little bit. And, <laughs> and uh, let it sit. <laughs> He's never out here when I'm filming. So uh, ignore him. But let that soak in. And I'm gonna go with eyes. I completely forgot what I was about to do. <laughs> but we're gonna get it done anyway. So. I'm gonna actually take uh, one of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palettes, <laughs> and um, I'm gonna take I have brushes. I'm gonna take the shade Mugshot right there as a transition color first, and I'm actually gonna. Do this. Then I'm gonna go and take, let's take Secret, this darker one right here. And um, that's just a darker brown. I'm just gonna go on my outer crease right here. Just real light, just a little bit. Cause I don't want this look to be too dark. So 
So that's the secret in there and it gave it a lot of um, depth. I don't like to put any really dark browns unless, I mean, when it gets to be winter time, I'm probably gonna do a lot more brown eyeshadow looks just because I think it looks really pretty. For some reason when it's like winter time, I do like a lot of smoky eye browns, but for now I'm gonna just do, um, I'm probably gonna do my concealer and I'm gonna take my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and I'm actually just gonna etch this out where it's already like, I'm gonna take a brush though. I'm gonna take a brush and stretch it out. Sketch it out real good. Sir, can you sit? There you go. Thank you. Don't touch anything. I see it. It's mommy's. Uh uh, don't touch. I know. Okay. Yeah, mommy's okay. Pikachu. 